Our presentation is titled In-Plane Ultrasound Guided Technique for the Anterior Patella Tendon Approach for Knee Joint Injection. The authors are Larry Kravitz and Kevin Elwood. The purpose of this research was to develop an ultrasound guided method for a simple anterior entry technique for knee injection. The most common ultrasound knee injection or aspiration technique is through a lateral approach into the suprapatellar recess. The knee joint can also be entered at its anterior aspect directly through the patella tendon. The less used technique has never been done under ultrasound guidance. We demonstrated the feasibility of using ultrasound visualization for this injection method using a cadaver model. We explored developing an ultrasound guided technique for anterior patella tendon knee injection. We used a Philips Lumify system with a linear transducer to attempt visualization of this knee injection technique on a cadaver knee positioned at a 90 degree flexion angle. We first completed a knee dissection demonstrating the location of the needle within the knee at the maximum depth of injection with the usual injection needle. We subsequently reproduced and modified the technique using several ultrasound windows until a technique was established that allowed visualization of the injection. We attempted ultrasound visualization in three formats. The first is an in-plane sagittal visualization along the patella tendon. The second was an in-plane transverse visualization along the lateral joint line. And the third was an out-of-plane visualization of the injection in the coronal plane through the patellofemoral joint. Only the in-plane sagittal technique was consistently successful. To allow visualization, the injection technique required a slight modification from the usual injection technique. Without ultrasound, the anterior patella tendon injection technique is performed by inserting the needle in the midpoint of the patella tendon matched up with the best estimate of the joint line. While the knee is flexed 90 degrees, the needle is then inserted directly anterior to posterior into the joint. In the cadaver dissection, a window was cut on the medial side of the joint to visualize the needle insertion. In this slide, the needle placement is adjusted as it would be for ultrasound visualization. Is it inserted at the inferior aspect of the patella tendon and angled slightly superior to allow for in-plane visualization with ultrasound? With this adjustment, the needle still enters the joint space appropriately. This slide demonstrates our final technique. For the purposes of our demonstration, an 18 gauge one and a half inch needle was used to allow easier visualization than the smaller 22 to 27 gauge needles that might be otherwise used for this injection. Transducer was placed in the sagittal plane superior to the needle entry point in line with the patella tendon. A heel-toe standoff technique was used to allow the transducer to be more parallel to the entering needle. In this slide, the needle is visualized entering the joint from the upper left aspect of the picture, which is the inferior patella tendon, towards the lower right part of the picture. The needle penetrates deep to the patella tendon freely positioned within the joint. It is difficult to identify the posterior aspect of Hoffa's fat pad and the anterior aspect of the joint cavity using this visualization, although we hope to clarify this in further study. Here is a video loop of a knee injection. The patella is off screen to the upper left. The needle enters from the upper right through the patella tendon. The injectate can be seen being expressed at the last second of the loop. In conclusion, 
we used a cadaver model demonstrating that an in-plane ultrasound visualization technique is feasible for an anterior patella tendon knee injection technique. The technique requires minor modifications of the entry point of the needle injection and the angle of insertion in the sagittal plane. A heel-toe standoff technique allows the best results for in-plane visualization of the needle.